Excuse me, trespasser. That's not the right end. Open up our retirement village. Come on, bird. Golden girls. I think Big Mama just found the hot wire. Morning guys. It is Thursday. It feels like Monday morning to me because as they say, a watched pot never boils. I believe that's the saying. I screw up sayings. That's my thing. I'm really good at it. We took off here on uh, Tuesday night and uh, we went up to the lake and we stayed overnight till yesterday. Yesterday being Wednesday. They were calling for a significant amount of rain here on Monday. They were calling for rain. We got maybe a tenth. Everybody around us was getting rain and we're like, oh my god. So Mark and I looked at each other. He goes, let's get out of here tomorrow night after we're done working. I said, okay. We got more rain last night than I think we've had since easily the spring. Everything is really moist. <laughs> we've had like little showers here and there, I think just to kind of hold us through, but we kind of admitted defeat earlier this week, basically, or like last weekend and said, no, we got to make some plans here. We're going to be short feed. Anyway, the rain came. I was so grateful because that will indeed uh, germinate those oats. The other thing is Carissa finally took a weekend off. Actually, she's taking like five or six days off in a row. It is the first break she has had forever. But that means the girls and I are in charge of chores and we haven't done that in a while. <laughs> but the good thing for you guys is you guys get to see sheep. A lot of you guys want to see sheep. never really know what's gonna happen here in a day. I just got a call. Um, I've had a really sore mouth, this side of my mouth, like for three weeks probably. So I went to my friend who's a dental hygienist last week. And she's like, dude, you have a cavity. I'm like, oh. Uh, receptionist just called, they have a cancellation. I'm probably gonna do chores for another half an hour and then I'm gonna go get a cavity. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try to talk to you, probably drool at you and then we'll finish chores then. <laughs> Okay, I just got back. I can't feel like this whole side of my face, but uh, we can do chores.
my gosh, my mouth looks so weird. Um, when I was feeding, I noticed a ewe wasn't getting up, and I'm like, that's not good. It took me a while to see her, because I have to wait for the rodeo to be finished. It's looking like mastitis. Her one side of her udder is really, really hard. Um, but I'm hoping I got her in time, so I've given her a really good antibiotic that works every time like a charm. And, uh, and some Medicam to get her up and get her feeling better, but she's looking pretty sad. So I'm kind of leaving her there because she's really close to the water. And uh, I'm hoping she can even get up on her front feet and get a drink if she needs it. She can go without feed for a couple days. She can't go without water, so. All right, I'm gonna like try and eat some pudding or yogurt or something. And I'll see you guys cross the road in the other barn. You know, we could not pay for a rain over the last two months and it rained again over lunch. I got my boots soaked because I left them outside. So now I'm wearing like my fall winter boots. Hello, Willow. Hi, gorgeous. This part is quite nice with the circulating fans going and our airbag going. It's actually, the air is quite nice. And we don't, we're not overloaded with lambs, which makes a big difference with ventilation as well. Uh, this is the rest of the market lambs left. We'll weigh them up again. It's so hard for me to talk. We'll weigh these guys up again um, next week. We're getting into the last few weeks of this group. Many of you are asking about Maddie. Maddie is still here. <laughs> And as much as I love him, he's turned a bit mean uh, on Carissa. And she said quite a few times now she's had to watch her back with him. And unfortunately, that's why I don't keep ram lambs typically. Billy was an exception. Billy and those painted lamb, paint, sorry, those painted rams are kind of the exception. They've been extremely well, easy mannered, but any other ram lamb I've made friends with and uh, and actually sold, uh, Belinda got Miles. She ended up having to get rid of him because he turned really rough on her and she was pregnant. And even um, Nikki and Dave at River Road, Nikki said Dave's the only one that can really handle Rusty because he's even quite mean. Uh, night, they're nice, like they're nice. They're trying to play. And when they're playing, they're really, really rough and mean. Hey, we're talking about you. Yes. Hello. What are you doing to Carissa? Okay. It's hard making friends with them and saving them when you kind of know what the des final destination is going to be, but it, that is our business. And uh, I just, I don't talk about it very much, not because I'm not, not because I'm avoiding it, be because I know some people watching this are very sensitive, but it is, it is unfortunately our business. So um, anyway. Uh, doing my best in other ways. Keep some favorites that I love, but unfortunately for the most part, they have to be female. <laughs> right? <laughs> you stay forever. Yes. If I could have a flock of you, I would be very happy. Yes. Okay, I've been hard at it this afternoon, and I want to show you what I did. Looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Did not ask for help. We've been working on the U pen. So I put in a you know, gate here that I had sitting around. Got the retiree's pen all bedded up, all the way back to the back. We actually still have a bale feeder here, so if they don't want the grass, I might just put a few pieces of dry hay in here. They can nibble at that. And yeah, we just had some extra green gates here. And I had some extra vino gates, so I put that there and then connected it to the one with the door and then added a hinge that I had left over from the lamb barn. So it's looking pretty good now. Oh, hello up there. That was not expected. Excuse me, trespasser. Yellow Jackets and I do not get along. We always use lubricating spray. We don't actually use bug spray. I usually wait till nighttime, but I'm gonna forget. Do I? Do I? Ah! See? Ah! 
That's not the right end. We have water. To be honest, the water was already filled from the rain. That's how much rain we got. But I strategically placed it right under the roof. I was manifesting rain. The float I bought yesterday from town. No, this morning. I bought the float this morning. Uh, $30. And it had the wrong end on it. It was for more of a... Mark said it was a pipe fitting, not a hose fitting. And he goes, you did try the old one, right? I'm like, no. It's been outside for like three or four years. There's no way. And so he's like, let's try it. So I hooked it up, turned it on, and it works. Hi. Only because I bought another one. I almost thought my day was done. It is not. Uh, this morning when I was doing chores, I also noticed this feed cart had some soft tires, and it makes for uh, moving it with a cart load of feed really, really tough. 50. 50. 19. I figured. Twenty-two. Swear it doesn't pay to have a rainy day with us around. We always seem to find stuff to do. Mark's making me a table. Someday, never. That's how green it is until that tannins. So would you put those slabs together somehow? To make a table? You like could almost way? do an epoxy table. It's nice wood. It's nice wood. It was like garbage. They was left from logging. I know. Why would they leave a walnut? Because they didn't like the Because of the, the Y. Too heavy left by myself. Yeah, no comfortably. Kidding. Nice. You make a nice table. Morning, guys. It's Friday already. I'm actually just checking in on this ewe I treated yesterday for mastitis. She's not laying by the water bowl, which is a good sign, hopefully. Is that you? You look a little perkier. I think this is her. How you doing, Mama? How you doing? Getting up on your own, that's a good sign. So you can see your back, part of her udder there. You can see how it's... You can even see visually that it's hard. Can you get up? That a girl. She's just a bit weak on her legs still. But that'll come, I think, once we kick this infection. Like, she's not loving her life, but she... That's a big improvement from yesterday. I wasn't sure what I'd find this morning. Thing about that antibiotic, it's a kind of a one-shot deal. And uh, Medicam is the painkiller that I also gave her. And it'll, it'll be good for two days, and then I'll have to give her some tomorrow. The Medicam is probably doing most of the work right now, just making her feel good enough to get up on her own. But the, uh, the antibiotic is the thing that's going to knock that infection. So today is the big day. We are going to open up our retirement village for the Golden Girls. So Billy's mom, Ruby, Big Mama, and Margie are gonna head over there. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is get some chores done, get everything bedded up, fed. I'm gonna leave their pen. I'm not gonna feed their pen because they move better when they're not fed. They move better when they're hungry because they think they're gonna get food. So what I'm going to do is feed everybody but that pen and then I'm going to run them through the handling system and pull out the four, four girls, put the other ones back in the pen and then um, take the girls across the road, see how they like the new pasture. It's going to be a very exciting day.
That's why they have a good retirement plan. the grass? Want to try over here? Come here. Come here. Try some grass? Golden Girls. Oh. Fun food, Marge. Oh, Margie found it. Good girl. Big Mama just found the hot wire. What'd you think of that? Oh, did you find the grass? Oh, here we go. It was about right here. That first year I had the lambs in here, we actually took this whole area and then part of this first pen that the beef cows had here if you're my ogs you will remember ruthie and this is where i met ruthie i was feeding we had these old they're probably up there still these old like makeshift feed troughs i had come in with pails and the ewes would like attack me but there was always one that came in last and she'd always come up to me and she kind of just bumped my leg and she kind of nudged me for a little pet and she was gorgeous. She had brown spots around her eyes and it was the first you that liked me. And it was Ruthie. And that started here. And now Ruby's here. It's great. Full circle. I'm such a mother hen. They've, uh, they've now done a perimeter around the fence. And I'm just a bit concerned that Marge is already panting. And I'm a little, she is large, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, so I'm trying to coax, I'm trying to bribe them back in here into some shade. So I put a little bit of corn on the ground and a little bit of hay. You can't see that because the exposure is garbage. I don't know how you people that have animals on pasture handle it. I'm so stressed, I'm stressed already. I'm just uh, run back in the barn here to check on my ewe that's been not feeling good. And she's kind of been laying in the same spot all afternoon. So I'm going to get her a pail of water because 
it is so hot. Now that we've had a little rain, the humidity is out of control. <laughs> Ironically, she's sitting in the exact same spot Mama Red sat in when she had mastitis when I first saw her. She doesn't look as good now that she did. Why do you guys pick this corner? It's like the corner of illness. Well, she got up and we walked away. So, walk into the water though. Okay? So, she goes to the water, I'm good. Okay, well, I just wanted her to drink, so she's up and drinking. That's good. Hi guys, do you want a little more water? It's hot today. Well, it looks like we've made it through day one, unscathed. Look at them. <laughs> Billy's mom has been the leader all day. Like, they won't go anywhere unless she leads. It's hilarious. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my god. I don't know if they've ate yet. That's the only thing. Have you guys been eating? What do you think? We finally got some shade. It's not the uh, nicest pasture for shade, so um, after lunch, a little bit shades in behind the barn here. But uh, it takes almost after all afternoon for that to really shade in. So you're gonna have to go in the barn. You're gonna have to figure that out. Leader of the pack. Just so you know. The barn that you were in is glorious today with those fans. Today over here is not glorious. And my pasture sheep would rather eat hay. <laughs> Girls, look behind you. Creatures of habit. Maybe tomorrow.